saint in reading. Interesting that we have such a fitting alignment of saint in readings. Even though these readings are for the 23rd week in ordinary time, they go beautifully with Peter Claver. St. Paul says that I have made myself all things to all people. And that is exactly what Peter Claver did. In fact, he made himself a slave to the slaves, as the Colic said, so that he might share in their sufferings, so he might win them over to the beauty of the gospel. And ministering to them, one of his great claims to fame is to have baptized no less than 300,000 slaves who were being brought over in the midst of terrible maltreatment to the new world. And in this, we might also point to his other great Jesuit confrere and missionary, Saint Francis Xavier, whose forearm and hand is in the Church of the Jesu in Rome as a relic and reminder to all those of the activity of this great missionary, it was said that Francis Xavier may have baptized as many as a million people. And so, as we honor these great missionaries, I think we also have a sobering lesson to learn from them, and that is to the extent in which man can delude himself. You have no doubt heard many times, because it's practically a mantra in the church these days, about the so-called new evangelization. Now, let it be said that there's nothing wrong with trying to renew evangelization, just as we're constantly trying to renew all things in Christ. But as can be easily observed, there is a complacency which sets in that simply prides itself on, well, we're using all sorts of new things, whether it's Facebook, whether it's you know, some new app on the phone, this or that. But at the end of the day, what is the purpose of evangelization? It has one purpose, the same purpose that was given in the Great Commission, to go and teach all nations, to baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So, in other words, the purpose of evangelization isn't simply to use means for their own sake, whatever they may be. It's not simply to dialogue. It's to lead all into one faith and one baptism. That's it. And as of yet, all these multiplications of methods and all of this self-adulation and praise that we heap on ourselves collectively, I speak, has produced almost no fruit. That in most churches, we have very few baptisms each year, far, far from the 300,000 that Peter Claver won over, far from the million that Francis Xavier won over. And in fact, we have what seems to be an exponentially increasing loss of faith and lack of conversion. And so all that is to say, I suppose on a very practical note, first of all, that we ought to beseech these great saints who were truly effective in evangelization and secondly, to remind ourselves simply that there is no replacement for sanctity. That if we are going to win souls for Christ, then we have to do what St. Paul said. That we have to do what St. Peter Claver said. And no amount of posting on Facebook or digital advertising or mere methods in themselves are going to win souls for Christ. But rather prayer, sacrifice, virtue, courage, and the grace of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.